you so much. Today, without much ado, let's hit it straight. We got a topic that is um, not the usual coinage, but I'll tell you all the same. Today we're talking about this topic that says, Esau was a skillful hunter. How about you? Mr. Paddy, I don't know where you got that from. <laughs> so, now, um, who is Esau? Tell us about Esau. The biblical Esau is the one of the twins of uh, Isaac. The mother is Rebecca. Okay. The mother is Rebecca. Mm -hmm. So, the twins, Esau and Jacob. <laughs> and Esau and Roland came out first. So the head of the lady, no you shop her. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you have to choose Esau? There were other people, other skilled people in the scripture. Talk about David, who was a great musician. Talk about Goliath, who was a skilled warrior um, of long standing. Talk about um Oholiab, who was so skillful in crafts and all of that, and quite a number of other people. Why did you have to choose Esau? You see, the Bible put it that Esau was a skillful hunter. Those ones you mentioned, I don't know if the Bible actually suggested or qualified them as skillful. But in my own experience, the Bible in Genesis 21 or that about said Esau was a skillful hunter. So it's actually that word skillful that you qualify there. Yeah, I remember, I remember, yes, we are acting about acquisition of skills mm -hmm. all over time. And I just came across we had the Bible, the Holy, the Holy Bible said that Esau he was a skillful man. Mm -hmm. It does not come back empty handed from what we, we are told. So he was so skillful. Mm -hmm. right. But the skill didn't really give him the blessing. Okay, we'll get there. <laughs> now, who needs to acquire a skill? If somebody that God blessed, they, 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 they are Israelites. And uh, we are told that they are after the God's heart. All our biblical ancestors, we are farmers. Okay, one way or the other. Yeah, one way or the other. Rob, animal. The mainly animal. No husband. Remember that Solomon made a sacrifice of uh, zero, three million or one million, one, 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 one million, thousand, one thousand uh, bulls, and God said, "This is good." Yes. So if he hadn't the bulls, I wonder. So I've been consistent in saying that certification is good. Going to school is good, but in case job has not come, my question is, what happened? How long are you going to wait? We can be doing something until the job from Shell last in your life, or Chevron, or IG, or bank. In the intervening period, what happens to your buying of bread or product? Now, my question is this mm -hmm. Who should acquire a skill? What age bracket of people should acquire a skill? What uh, status of people? Uh, should I, is there a status? Okay, let's let me let, let's finish with that. Who should go for a skill? You know, don't know what we should go for a skill. Mm -hmm. Every country. Yes, so for that. Uh, without something personal, my second son still is in studio to now. Learning how to sing. Okay. His acquisition is just 14 years. He sees himself as a rapper. As a father, what do I need to do? I'm not his creator. Since the father is seeking expression to this young man, to this lad. Let him explore because I know that it's going to gladden the heart of the source of creation if I allow him to do that. He, Father, has done for me. So, the question of everybody remember that uh, Thomas Edison had his workshop burned down at 76 and at 67, and he was able to rebuild it. So, it doesn't matter the age, as far as you can walk around, get something you can do at your leisure time. It might not be for money. For there are some people, I, I, I tell the older ones, at 60 years, you should start telling people the mistakes you made, so that the younger ones will correct when they get to that. So they won't 
they will not repeat the same mistakes that you made. And society can be better for it. For anybody who has intelligence should acquire skill. Mm. Well, okay. What do you have to say about people? Um, sorry, I have to Go ahead. be specific. Go ahead. But quite a number of people who seem to have made it, uh, maybe mm. politicians, um, who don't have any other business apart from politics. They don't have a skill. Yeah, we meet a number of, we come across a number of people like that from day to day. They don't have any other skill, no other business, no other profession apart from politics. And when something goes wrong, um, the story is not usually collateral with them. Desperation is an English word. Some of them are so desperate. And they do all kinds of things to act, to get in, to be in power. What we're saying is have a second address because you cannot be in power all the time. The economy around the world, around the globe, has never been stable. It comes, it goes. At the point, you can be sacked by government policy, you can be sacked by accident, by act of nature, you can be sacked on economy, the downturn on economy. The question is at that point in time, things are not actually going well. You can grow better things. What's wrong about understanding the behavior of a snail? So, earlier a snail does not cause just a small space. And I know people now in, in, in Iber State, in, gov in government, who do not buy protein in the market. In, in, in their builders' houses, they have snail, they have fish, they have vegetables, and all that. So that in case that they don't have enough money to go and buy any other sort of protein, they can get it from the farm. The, uh, skill acquisition does not mean going to come warm. Yes. Get something that can throw maybe even a pastime. Good. I know so many lecture, so many big boys in America, in the Western world. When they leave government, they go and teach. Yeah. The former son, son uh, uh, or a, 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 a standard of Nigeria, S O N. Mm. Standards organization. Okay, he came out mode. Okay. Went back to classroom to teach at. Uh, uh, and because business school, mm -hmm. so I, I, if it's there, it's there. So you need to if giving might should not be necessarily mean giving money. You can be giving back what you have learned over the time. Even though I have our own OBJ here, former uh, president of the country, he's gone back to the university. So National Open University, and he's China. now he's now a doctor. Yes, he's got his PhD, and he's uh, he's working with now. Are you saying after becoming president? Yes, he's so come back. I'm trying to, 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 to lend support to what you're saying. And I'm aligning myself with you. <laughs>